Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a quick look at the Bradford factor. What is it and how to do it? So basically, it's, it's an HR feature that you can use to track sicknesses within your organization, basically to catch people out that are going on the sick all the time. It's not to be used for people that are on long-term sick. It doesn't really apply for that. It applies for people that's taken the odd day here and there, and you want some sort of mechanism to capture that. So what it is, is basically it's sick days times by sick occurrences, and then times by sick occurrences again. So in this example here, the blue area are sicknesses. That is one occurrence, and I've put one in the sick episode there, and that should be one as well, because there's only one there. So it's two separate occurrences. Now the Bradford factor score, with the formula down here, is given a score of 8. So it's basically I13, I13, which is this, two occurrences of sick in this month, times by M13, which is the episodes, times by M13 again. So that's times twice, and it gives it a score of 8, which is not massive. Now, if I type sick there and there, so the score's gone up, but not greatly, because that is treated as still one episode, because it's all together, so it's, it's off for three days altogether. One episode. However, if I delete the middle one, that now becomes two episodes, so I need to change that to two, and now this starts clocking up a bit more and he starts flagging up maybe uh, that this guy needs uh, an interview without coffee. If I put one down here, sick, and then sick, two more episodes for that week, two, that's really gone high now. And then what you have as a benchmark in your organization to see whether you're pulling this person in for an interview is up to you, but these are sort of a uh, rough guides that are used so if you've got a score of 45 you know that is uh you've got concern about this person 100 which this is over 100 you should be giving them a disciplinary because there obviously is something wrong and then 900 which is absolutely huge it's probably off every other day is uh, a dismissal process perhaps but your company would set this up it wouldn't be um the same for every single company. Now, if I just delete some of these off, knock that down, put that to zero. So this, you can actually create a formula to automatically calculate how many times, um, in this case, S is in this row. So you don't have to manually do that. This is a, obviously a manual process. and Anything that's manual can get forgotten. So there are formulas that you can use to automatically put this number in but the key for you is this figure at the bottom so the formula is equals sick days which is that one times sick episodes which is that one times sick episodes again which is that one again that's the formula simple formula tick gets a score of 27 if you then change anything Obviously, I'm putting S there and S there. That's two separate sick episodes. You need to put the two in there. Or like I said already, get a formula to work that out for you. And now this person's got a score of 125 in the month, which is a disciplinary according to the, the standard scores on the doors, if you like. So that's what the Bradford factor is, and it's how you can use it. It's nothing super technical. It's just a guide, and that's what you've got to remember. It's just a guide. Don't be too draconian with it. Hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.